Okay, so welcome back. Um, in a previous video, I may have been uh, a little optimistic, trying to detect uh, mercury directly from the can. Uh, turns out there's two different kind of, of uh, tuna. There's the light tuna, and uh, and then there's the uh, the white tuna. And the white tuna is supposed to be a different uh, different uh, different fish. This is uh, albacore, and this is a bigger fish. It has it's supposed to be concentrating mercury three times as much as uh, this one so this is roughly 120 ppb mercury in it this is uh, 320 ppb so i figure if i get three of them i uh i should be getting close to uh, uh ppm obviously everything i'm going to be using in this video must be absolutely mercury free to avoid contamination so there shouldn't be any problems because I do not handle mercury on a daily basis and all of my chemicals are virtually mercury free yeah of course let's add dilute nitric acid that nah, should be okay uh, let it digest for a little while so I've added a, a little bit more water and a, a tiny drop of a concentrated nitric acid. And uh, we're gonna let it sit here in a, in a bigger beaker and uh, let it digest, or maybe overnight, I don't know, as long as possible. So yeah, I decided I'm, uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Yeah, here you go. Okay, so this one's been here for about a day. Maybe a little more, I'm gonna add a little bit more tuna in there. I should probably grind, oh shit, concentrate it, <laughs> nitric acid, a little bit, whoa, okay, so it's been about a week, it's, uh, it's been digesting, let's hope all the mercury is in solution now, the smell is between the uh, rotten meat and old urine, it's uh, remarkably unpleasant, I'm going to do several rinse with uh, DI water, well, this might take a while. Yeah. So here's the filtrate in the large beaker. And uh, let's uh, add a little bit of sodium bicarbonate to uh, neutralize the, the acid. Not too fast so it doesn't uh, foam up like this. It's too fast. Okay, so let's change the pH in here. I'm ready for this house to stop smelling like a horse took a piss before dying in here. Ah, crap. Okay, so let's check the pH. And, uh, okay, we're looking pretty neutral. Seven, yeah, that's pretty good. This, this too will take a while. Uh, meanwhile, I'm gonna prepare a small solution of uh, sodium sulfide with uh, DI water. And uh, that should uh, help us precipitate the mercury in the form of uh, mercury sulfide, which is extremely insoluble. So now we have this uh, filter ready. And we have the solution has been filtered and neutralized and we have I can stop it now right there this um, sodium sulfide in uh, dissolved in water and we're gonna pour it in there to precipitate whatever mercury is present hopefully not much so here let's pour, pour it in excess so now we're just gonna filter it with this filter and I'm gonna add to it a little bit of this this is a uh, silicon dioxide and I'm just going to add a little bit to it in there to make sure whatever particulate of uh, um, mercury sulfide is going to stick to the filter. The filter is already pretty good on its own but this will help. Well hopefully there is no precipitate. I'm going to pour about half of it in here and filter it. So there's, uh, there's not much to be filtered because it's already been filtered except the uh, mercury uh, sulfide which should stay in the filter here. So now I get to clean this, uh, this glassware for the last time and I'm very happy about that. Okay, so here's the filtrate. Uh, most of the mercury we should have from the tuna is in here on this, uh, on this sand. Uh, it's been drying for a while and I'm gonna pour pour it in this uh, carefully clean dish unfortunately I can't do the analysis myself although I was really hoping for uh, 
I was really looking forward to get this uh, UV spectrometer. I can't do the fluorescence. So I'm gonna have to take this to a lab, but luckily I, uh, I work in the lab. So this is the sand and uh, we'll take it to the lab. So unfortunately I couldn't, uh, I couldn't record inside the lab, but uh, finally the test, uh, the test results are back and I can give you a few more information. So we're gonna find out how much of uh, mercury is present in, uh, in tuna. So the, my samples was, uh, was prepared according to uh, method SW7471S, which you can find online if you're interested. The sequester the uh, sulfide by your potassium permanganate. Also, there was no copper interference in it. It was analyzed on the quick trace mercury analyzer M6100, which is capable of detecting 0 0.1 ppb of mercury or 100 part per trillion. The, the, so this uh, this instrument detected 7.789 uh, ppb of mercury in my sand sample, which is uh, calculated to be 370.9 micrograms per kilogram of fish, or to put it simply 0 0.37 milligram per kilogram or 0 0.37 uh, ppm. Now I don't want to alarm anyone. Uh, th these, uh, these are perfectly normal amount of mercury. The FDA published a study conducted between 1990 and 2010 where they monitored the level of, of mercury in fish. And this level here is perfectly average for albacore. Uh, there's no need to panic. Also the, uh, the USDA guideline is very strict and they allow 0 0.1 microgram of mercury per kilogram of body weight per day. So an average person of about 70 kilos or 100 and 50 pounds or so could probably eat just under a candidate and still be safe and not suffer from uh, mercury poisoning. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If, you, if you're interested in uh, mercury, I'll, I'll have an upcoming video about extraction from, uh, from minerals and many more fun science video. Please, uh, please subscribe, rate, comment if you have any questions. Uh, also, uh, you have a brand new uh, Patreon page, so maybe you can check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.